That's new, a smartphone with a halo light. This is the all new Infinix Note 40 Pro. It has a beautiful design, a curved display, and it supports wireless and reverse wireless charging. Now, in this video, I will be sharing with you everything there is to know about this smartphone and whether it is worth buying. The Infinix Note 40 Pro is bundled with a 20 watt magnetic wireless fast charge pad to charge the smartphone wirelessly. The color I got is the Titan Gold. It also comes in vintage green. It comes with stickers, a curved glass screen protector, earphones, a Mac case, a USB Type-C cable, and a 70 watt fast charger that charges this smartphone from 0 to 100% in 46 minutes. That's actually not bad. I also tested how long it will take the 20 watt wireless charging pad to charge this smartphone. Now, if you want to know the results, you can check out the video on my Instagram and TikTok account. And while you're there, please hit the follow button. Now, let's check out the build quality of this smartphone. The front glass is protected with Corning Gorilla Glass 5, making it resistant to drops from a height of 1.2 meters on hard and rough surfaces. It is also scratch resistant. It has a slim plastic frame and the rear is made from glass. Now, can this smartphone survive being dipped inside water? The Infinix Note 40 Pro is an IP54 device, which means it's rated to survive water splashing on it from all directions and not dipping it inside water. Although my unit survived, please do not try this at home. For the weight, it is 195 grams, making it easy to hold and use for long hours. Moving to the external features, this is something I haven't seen in a while on Infinix smartphones. And that's an IR blaster. What it does is it allows you to control appliances that have an infrared receiver like your TV or your air conditioner. It comes with dual stereo speakers tuned by JBL. They sound all right. The treble is decent, but it's lacking bass. Now, what I like about the speakers is when you turn up the volume, the rear of the smartphone vibrates. It has two microphones, one at the top and another one at the bottom. This smartphone comes with a dual SIM card tray with no memory card expansion slot. On the right side are the volume and power buttons and on the left side, there's nothing. Flipping the phone to the rear, it has three cameras and this. Infinix is calling it an active halo light system. It lights up when you receive notifications or when you charge the smartphone. Here are the different scenarios that would make the light come up and it's customizable. Surrounding the halo light is the flash LED light and it's bright. Now take note of this, the active halo light is only available on the Titan Gold and the Racing Black color. The fingerprint scanner is an optical one and from my usage, it is fast and accurate. It also has the less secured face unlock feature which is equally fast and accurate. At the front, it has a 32 megapixel front facing camera and next to it is a flash LED light that can be useful for taking selfies in the dark. Now it's time to check out the curved display on this smartphone. It has a 6.78 inch 1080p AMOLED panel with a refresh rate of 120Hz. Watching content on this smartphone is vibrant and it shows a lot of details. This display doesn't support HDR but still it's a good display for a mid-range smartphone. It is smooth and responsive thanks to the high refresh rate. Now for people who use their smartphones outdoors, you'll be pleased to know that the Infinix Note 40 Pro has a peak brightness of 1300 nits, making the display readable under direct sunlight. Powering the Infinix Note 40 Pro is the MediaTek Helio G99 Ultimate chipset, a modified version of the G99. Launching applications and multitasking is good as this smartphone comes with 8GB of RAM that can be expanded using virtual RAM. Now testing the performance using Antutu, the Infinix Note 40 Pro scores above 400K. For Geekbench, it has a single core score of 745 and a multi-core score of 2042. This number shows that the processor on this smartphone is is fast enough for daily tasks like chatting, using social media apps, and multitasking. Now, where to sweat a bit is when it comes to gaming. It's played PUBG at HD graphics and high frame rate, although the gameplay was alright, but the graphics setting is low. For Call of Duty Mobile, it played the game at medium graphics and high frame rate. For casual games like Real Racing 3, it ran the game perfectly with no issues. Now, after playing different games for over an hour, the smartphone didn't get hot, partly thanks to the VC liquid cooling system that cools the internals of this smartphone and also because the smartphone can't run games at the highest graphic settings. X-Boost is available when playing some games. It allows you to tweak the smartphone performance while you're inside the game and it has other useful shortcuts for gamers. It has a feature called bypass charging where when you connect your smartphone to power, 
The power supply will bypass the battery to power the smartphone directly to prevent the smartphone from getting hot while you play games. Now for the Android operating system, the Infinix Note 40 Pro is running Android 14 with XOS version 14. Infinix says this smartphone will get 2 years of major Android OS updates and 36 months of security updates. The XOS skin has been revamped, I didn't notice any ads and it looks like it has fewer bloatwares. The AI features has also been improved. It has an AI wallpaper generator where you can just type in the kind of wallpaper you want and it will generate it for you. Now moving to the camera department, it comes with a 32 megapixel selfie camera and the pictures it captures look alright. The details it shows are good and it doesn't over sharpen. Overall, the pictures it captures look good. Now looking at my round head, it does a good job of capturing a decent image and keeping the bright parts of the picture in check. It isn't overblown as you can see, HDR is working perfectly here. So here's a video from the front facing camera, the 32 megapixel front facing camera. It's shooting in 2K, 30fps. What do you guys think about the video quality? It doesn't look bad. Front facing camera tests. What do you guys think? <laughs> Dynamo. This bag, nah, it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, let us know what you think about the front facing camera in the comment section below. Moving to the red cameras, it has a 108 megapixel shooter, a 2 megapixel macro camera and a 2 megapixel depth camera. The pictures captured by the main camera doesn't look bad, they are sharp and they show plenty of details. Portrait shots look nice with good object separation from the background. The colors it captures are balanced and not saturated. Pictures of food look nice as you can see. It has the sky shop feature where you can change the sky. And checking out the pictures captured by the 2 megapixel macro camera, well, it won't wow you. And right now we switch to the red camera, the 108 megapixel red camera. Shooting in 2K 30fps, that's Dynamo. And that's our model. Model. So yeah. I wonder why he gave me the bag I'm <laughs> So what do you guys think about the right camera? 108 megapixel right camera shooting in 2K 30 FPS. Let me know in the comment section below. Dynamic range is not bad as you can see. The, the switch was a little bit aggressive but okay, it's much better now. It's much better now. So yeah. Hi guys. Hello everyone. <laughs> All right, so this is me trying out this camera, and this is given everything it should give. <laughs> All right, front camera and back camera yeah. all at once, and this is super amazing. And now it's time to test out the stabilization. It's shooting in 1080p 30 fps, so let me jog towards them. <laughs> Now the battery life on this smartphone has been superb. It comes with a 5000 mAh battery cell and it lasted almost the whole day for my usage. Now when it comes to charging, you can charge this smartphone wired and wirelessly. Wired charging is what I prefer because it's faster. I did a battery charging test in hyper mode and using the 70 watts fast charger that it comes with, it completed a full charge in 46 minutes. Now, I would admit that using the Mac pad to charge this smartphone is convenient, but at 20 watts, it's going to take a while for it to charge up the smartphone. Now, you can also use the smartphone as a power bank to charge other smartphone and accessories wired and wireless. And now let's talk about the price. The Infinix Note 40 Pro costs 396,600 naira or just around $283. For the pros, it comes with more accessories than most smartphones, the build quality is good, the display quality is great, the dual stereo speakers sound good, the performance of this smartphone is sufficient for most people, but for gamers, well, it will run all your favorite games at slow graphic settings. The battery life is superb and it's one of the few budget smartphones with wired and reverse wireless charging capabilities. For the cons, I feel the camera can be improved and why do we have a 2 megapixel dead camera that sensor can't capture pictures. Now, when you check out the price of this smartphone in dollars, it's all right. But for people in Nigeria, 396,600 Naira for a smartphone powered by the MediaTek Helio G99 Ultimate chipset is expensive. Now, I know that's not Infinix's fault, it's our economy and the value of the Naira has depreciated. So that's my review of the Infinix Note 40 Pro. If you found this video to be useful, hit the like button. Thank you for watching till the end and I'm going to see you guys very soon. Follow Reviews, signing out.